Hey YouTube, what's up? So, uh, yesterday I just finished my first marathon and um, it didn't go as planned as I wanted to. I keep hearing from people saying the first one's usually rough. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> but what I did want to mention though was um, I had a chance to meet the uh, ultra marathon runner Dean Carnassus. Uh, yeah, that guy. 50 marathons, 50 consecutive days. Who's run what close to like what 300 miles, whatever nonstop. Um, of course, runners over the years have given him a bad rep for being a self promoting, arrogant douchebag, while hobby joggers love the guy. But, anyways, <coughs> after the race, as I'm sitting down munching on some food in Gatorade, I kind of look over to the corner and uh, I was like, wait a minute, that guy looks familiar. I was like, oh shit, that's Dean Carnassus you know, with other people, you know, talking to other folks, I'm like, alright, I've heard what people said over the years about him, but I've, I've never met the guy, so, I'm like, alright, you know what, I'm gonna go over there, introduce myself, say hi, and make that judgment for myself, so, as I get up, literally, it takes me like a minute to get up, though, because my legs are dying at this point, and they still are, and, you know, I wobble my, my way over there, and, you know, the folks who are talking to him leave, and he's kind of by himself for like a second or so. And I approach him, I'm like, hey, uh, Mr. Carnassus. He's like, hey. And uh, we shake hands, we talk for like five minutes, but of course he says, call me Dean. I'm like, all right, whatever, Dean. And uh, <coughs> I briefly mentioned, hey, this is my first marathon, you know. It's, I got to say, it's uh, not as easy as I thought. I got to respect the distance. He's like, well, yeah, it is tough. He even mentioned how tough the course was. Yes, when you have hills around mile 22, mile 25, Woo! It, believe me, your legs get beat up. I mean, it is taxing on the body. But, yeah, we really talked for five minutes or so. And, of course, then after that, you know, we it shook hands again, and, we, and then we parted ways. And what I noticed, though, about the guy, he's very nice. He's, you know, seemed down to earth. I mean, he was nice to me, though. And I enjoyed the little chit-chat we had together for those few minutes. And I... <coughs> I don't know, I mean, he didn't seem like the guy that every, like, a lot of people who are negative towards him have been saying. He just seemed like the complete opposite, though. So, I don't know. But, that was a good experience. Um, but yeah, I got a pretty cool medal, as you can see. And, uh, <coughs> I got really bad, uh, foot blisters, though. But I can show you a pic, though, right after this video. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's uh, my first marathon experience. We're going to recover, be an average American for like a couple weeks or so, maybe less, and uh, see where things go after that. <laughs> but yeah, marathon. First one's in the books.